Before the hectic holiday season kicks in, set aside a night for a romantic dinner for two. It's the best way to survive the holiday madness and Yudika has prepared a special menu. The festive season can be quite frantic, so how about setting some time aside to prepare a romantic dinner for that special someone? On my menu for starters, we have marinated prawns, lamb fasanda, and an orange flavored cheesecake. I'm starting out with the lamb, and for that, heat up a pan and then pour in some sunflower oil. Next, add two cinnamon sticks, four cardamom pods, and a bay leaf. Fry the spices until they're fragrant. I love pisanda and it's perfect for a romantic dinner because pisand means to like or to love. The spices are now fragrant and the bay leaves turned a shade darker. In goes the sliced onion. Season the onion with coarse salt about a teaspoon and leave those onions to fry until they're light golden. Now let's marinate the lamb. And for that, we need 500 grams of lamb fillet and place the pieces of lamb into a mixing bowl. If you have a lot more time, you can leave this to marinate. Next, in goes some turmeric ginger and garlic paste going into the lamb, a handful of crispy brown onions. These add flavor, but they also thicken the sauce. Some yogurt. And I'm using full cream Greek yogurt for this. Pour in a little fresh cream. And to spice this up, a tablespoon of red chili powder, a pinch of turmeric, a teaspoon of ground cumin, two teaspoons of ground coriander. I'm using roasted spices for this, gives you the best flavor. A teaspoon of garam masala. And now mix those ingredients through. The lamb's now coated in that marinade and the onions are looking spectacular. Onions are crispy, they look perfect, in goes the lamb. And now just saute the lamb in the onion. And once the meat is sealed, the next ingredient, tomatoes. And lightly break down the lumps in those tomatoes and leave it to simmer. You should cook this on a low heat to ensure the meat's really tender. And if the sauce is too thick, add a little boiled water. Starting out with the cheesecake, and for the base, you'll need 220 grams biscuits, and I've crushed those, and then melted butter. Pour the melted butter into the crumbs, and mix the ingredients together. I'm using a loose bottom pie tin for this, 25 centimeters in size. Pour the crumbs into the base. You can add a little extra butter if the crumbs are too dry. Cheesecake has to be one of my favorite desserts. Use the back of a spoon and smooth out the crumbs into the base. Pop this into the refrigerator to chill for about 10 minutes. The base is now ready. Let's start with the filling. I've got three tubs of cream cheese, which is just about 700 grams in the mixing bowl. And to that, I'm going to add the eggs. Let's start beating this in the meanwhile. When you're making a cheesecake, remember to use cream cheese at room temperature. Now the egg goes in. Add 
add the sugar. The orange rind. And next, the vanilla. I'm using a vanilla pod for this. Scrape the seeds from the pod. And you just need, I'd say about a quarter of a pod, not the entire thing. And pop that into the cream cheese. That's done. It's important not to overbeat the cream cheese. A few tips when you're making a cheesecake is always ensure your ingredients are at room temperature and also when you beat up the ingredients try not to incorporate too much air. Once it's baked the cheesecake can puff up and then crack when cooled. Pour the cream cheese into the prepared tin. I love the little speckles of orange zest and vanilla seeds. This isn't a very sweet dessert. It's creamy and light, which makes it perfect for a romantic dinner. Smooth the top of the filling. Another little tip for you is take a knife and just run it through the filling. Make sure you don't go through the base. And that's just to break down any air bubbles. Now, pop this onto some foil in a roasting pan or casserole dish. and just fold the foil down. This is to ensure that water doesn't get into the cheesecake. I can see a few more air bubbles coming up to the surface. It's important to get rid of those. Tap the tin down. You can see they do start to pop through. Pour some boiled water into the roasting pan, about halfway up the side, and this stabilizes the cheesecake so it doesn't flop or crack. Bake this in a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius for about 40 to 45 minutes. It should still slightly wobble in the center and then leave it to cool at room temperature. For the marinated prawns, heat up some sunflower oil in a frying pan. It's a very simple recipe. And then add the prawns. Don't use prawn meat for this recipe. I'd say use the proper prawns and ask your fishmonger to shell and devein them for you. I'm making a life starter for my dinner. Once the prawn tails start to curl, add the garlic. Stir in the garlic and now season with salt. Just a light sprinkling. Prawns are ready. To make the dressing, I've got some lemon juice or you could use lime juice as well. Some olive oil. A pinch of sugar, just to balance those flavors. And some coriander. Seal the jar. Shake the ingredients together. and pour that over the warm prawns. Scrape the pan, that's where all the flavor is. And now to plate that. I've got a layer of avo on a plate, and I love avocado. And spoon the prawn on top of the avo. That's the last of the pan juices. Some chopped onion going on top. And then pomegranate rubies. Chopped coriander. And some lime wedges. that's my starter done. 
I've prepared marinated prawns, lamb pisanda for the person that I pisand, and then a cheesecake. And I've garnished the cheesecake with granite de la pulp. A romantic feast might just be what I need to get me through the festive season.